Hello, I am Mr. Fixit from ES Repair. In my previous videos, I have sh introduced you to Minitools Partition Wizard. Well, in the previous video, I did the disk benchmark and showed you how you can test the performance of your hard drive. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you the disk usage analyzer. And what this is going to do is show you exactly what applications and data and files are taking up the space. When the program starts, it's going to come up to this window. Uh, you're going to be able to see the tree view, file view, and folder views. Uh, if you need some assistance using the software, you can always go down here in the lower left and click on Space Analyzer Tutorial uh, with help with some of the abbreviations that you may come across. So to get started, what you'll do is you'll just select the drive and pick the drive that you would like to do. So what I'm going to do for this demonstration is I'm going to do the, my external drive, the Windows 10 Pro. Once the scan has completed, you will see the total space up here that shows the total capacity of the drive. It's also going to show you how much of that space is going to be occupied by files and folders and how much of the space is available to save data. Now, as you can see, it gives you a long list. Over here, we're currently showing in tree view. And what this does, it shows you all the folders and how they are connected to the root directory, which would be this right here. This is known as the parent directory or the root directory. The rest of these are subfolders and additional subfolders. On the right here, you'll see percent of the parent. Uh, this is how much space that it takes up on the drive. The root directory should always show up as 100%. This shows the total size of that folder. This shows you how many items it has found in that folder. Of those file um, items, it shows you how many of those are files and how many of them are folders. Now, as you look down the list, you'll see that they're in uh, numerical order with the largest one at the top with the least size at the bottom. Over here, you also see the last change. Uh, this is the last time that the folder was changed. Uh, over here, you have the attributes. Uh, this provides information as to what type of file or folder it is and what usage it can be, have allowed. For instance, the D is for directory. R is for read only. Uh, you also have some that says directories and H, which is hidden. And you also see others that has an S, which means they're system files. Now, you may have also noticed that some of these are grayed out. This indicates that those particular files or folders are hidden from the system. These means that you do not see these under File Explorer. They're only for system purposes. Now, you will also notice that some of them also have colors. Uh, for instance, this one here is blue. Uh, this is because if you look at the attribute, it shows C for compressed. Um, you also have ones for encrypted, temporary, and so forth. Um, you can also go down here to Space Analyzer Tutorial, and it will explain to you what those attributes stand for and what they mean. On the right, uh, we're going to see this column here. And what you'll see here are the extensions. Now, these are file extensions. This identifies what kind of file this is. Now, the operating system uses this information to identify as to what applications associated to it. Uh, for instance, you have the MTS, which is a video format. You got MPEGs, uh, MP4, WMVs. Um, there are different types of extensions that you can uh, choose. Now, what this is, is it shows you the percentage of each of the extensions that are used on the computer. It also shows how much space is taken up and the number of files that is associated to each of the extensions. Now, one of the things that you can do is, for instance, let's say that we're going to look at all the WMV files, which are video, uh, Windows Media Video. If you were to double click it, it would turn the filter on 
and it will show you all the files with that extension. So up here, you'll see percent of the drive that shows you how much space the file takes up. Uh, it shows you the size of that file, the last time it was changed, and its attributes as to what the file can be used for. And as you can see, it comes in very handy if you're wanting to look for a particular format. You can also open the folders and view their contents. For instance, I can go here. If you if a folder has additional or subfolders, you can click the plus sign to allow it to expand. Or you can also double click the folder and it will also expand. Again, as it branches out, it shows all the subfolders, uh, the files, the percentage it takes up of the parent directory, uh, the file size that it takes up, and of course, all the items and things like that. So as you can see, it comes in very handy. You can branch it out and check out all the files. For instance, let's go to videos, and then we'll go to DVDs. Now, these are some DVDs that I've ripped for the purpose here. And what this does, it shows here that uh, it's ready for archiving, which is the A. It means that you can uh, compress it, zip it, archive it, whatever you want to do with it. There's no restrictions to it. And if you were to right-click it, you can choose Open, which allows you to open the file or folder. Explore, which will allow it to open File Explorer so you can view the directory. Uh, you can copy the path of the folder. You can delete to the recycle bin, or you can delete permanently. You can also click on Properties, and this will give you information about that file or folder. So as you can see, the tree view does come in very handy as you're browsing through the folders just like you would in File Explorer, but this separates everything by the file size. So it helps you to find the largest files and see if you need to move them to an external drive or if you just need to get rid of them because you no longer need it. Well, the other one we have here is File View. Now, this takes a closer look in the file size of particular specific files. Uh, for instance, uh, it shows all the files that's on the system. It shows the percentage that that file takes up. And it shows the size of that file. And it shows the largest one to the top to the smallest one at the bottom. It shows you the last time it was changed and the attributes that we spoke earlier on the right. This comes in handy to look at specific files as to which ones take up the most space. Now you do still have the same functionality. For instance, you can select one file here, like I do here, right-click it. You can either open the file to see what it is. You can explore as to all the files that's in the location. You can also copy the path that the file is located. Uh, you can delete it to the recycle bin, and you can delete it permanently. Now, do understand that if you do delete the recycle bin, it does give you the option that if you change your mind, you can always go back to the recycle bin and retrieve it. If you delete it permanently, that means that once it's deleted, you'll no longer have access to it, not even in the recycle bin. If you wanted to see the properties of the file, you can right click the file and it will give you the information about it. Now, one other thing that you can do here that you could not do in Tree View is that you can search for specific files. If you know the name of the file, you can have this help you search for it. If you know the format that it's in or the file extension, you can also type that in. Uh, you, if you need to look at everything in a specific folder, like for instance, let's say we want to see everything in the videos folder. You can just type the name in and then choose apply. This will show you every file or folder dealing with the word videos. Now, if you're looking for like say specific files, you can either type the name of the file that you're looking for. Now you don't have to necessarily know the entire file name, but you can use wildcards. For instance, if you use the asterisk, 
which is shift 8 or if you have a numbered keypad to the right it will be the star right above the number 9. You can put a period and then type in the extension you're looking for. For instance let's type txt which is a standard text document. You can press enter or click apply and it will show you every single file that has the extension of txt. If you're looking for MPEG videos, just type in star dot MPG and this will show you all the videos that's in MPG. It's similar to what the file extension on the tree view was, but sometimes it can be difficult because it also depends on where in that list that MPG can be listed but it also can be found in here. Now, if you need to look for folders, uh, if you go over here to the right, you can choose Match, Entire Path, and then type in the folder name that you're looking for. This will help you find all the videos, and you'll notice it also picked up other ones. Any folder that had the word videos will be popped up in this list. You'll see the video directory here. Uh, you'll see downloads and then another folder called videos. You'll also notice down here where it says videos here. So it pretty much helps you narrow it down. And any folder or file that has the word videos, then it will pop it up in this list. Now if you're done with that, you just choose clear, go back, and type in something else. This now lists all the videos that's in MTS format, which is um, a high definition format. So as you can see, this can come in handy if you're looking for a specific file or folder. Last but not least, we have now the folder view. The folder view is similar to what file view is, except it shows all the folders on the drive. It shows the folders just like before, with this time it shows the larger folders at the top with the smallest folders at the bottom. And as you can see, each folder represents the size that it takes up on your drive. It also shows the last change it had made and what attributes belong to that folder. Now again, you do have the same functionality as you did before. Uh, if you right click on the folder, you can open it to view it. You can also uh, click open here, which pretty much does the same thing, especially with folders. You can copy the path of the folder. You can delete the folder to the recycle bin, and you can also delete it permanently. Now, if you want to, you can also check the properties and it will tell you all the information about that folder. Now by default, it's going to show all the directories or folders. Now, if you want to see all the last level directories within that folder, then all you have to do is click the show last level directories, and this will show you the very end of the subfolders for that parent directory. And then of course, it shows the percent of the drive that that folder takes up, the size, the last time that folder has changed, and the attribute about that particular folder. Well, this concludes this video. I hope it helped you understand how this software can help you save space on your drive, uh, helps you find the largest files that's taking up the most space on your, on your drive, so you can either delete it or move it to an external drive. Well, I'm your host, Mr. Fixit from Ease Repair. Thank you for watching.